This is a ZV 10 LRC, the newest model in the line. This is a 10 kilowatt continuous power motor with a 10 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's an 84 volt system made up of 100 amp hour batteries. This bike is about a six inch longer wheelbase than just about anything on the market. The seat height is only 28 inches. So just about anybody can ride it. It has an LED tail light, LED turn signals. bike has a huge amount of storage on each side at the top are separate storage compartments has a large compartment below the handlebars and yet another storage compartment to the bottom Charging plug is an aircraft type twist and lock plug capable of withstanding 80 amps. The instrument panel is all digital. There's three digital screens for information. In testing, this bike ran 86 miles an hour on the interstate. We were touching 90 miles an hour in certain places on downhill grades. It never got under 78 miles an hour, even on the steep grades. This is West Virginia Mountains. The underseat luggage area on this bike is enormous. No problem to swallow multiple full-face helmets. All of the electronics, connections are under the seat in one place so you can find everything to check any status on the bike or repair anything or check anything. Everything is made as a plug-and-play swap-out system. The bike has the unusual feature of a reverse. You can see it's set now in a conventional manner for the wheel to go forward. The bike has very precise control so you can turn the move the bike at very, very slow speeds, slower than you can crawl. If you want to, you can lock it into low or into reverse rather and go in reverse. The bike has a three-speed electronic transmission like all ZEVs. First gear is, takes you up to 28 miles an hour and is, is made to minimize the amount of electricity that you're using to drive in traffic. Second gear takes you up to 50 miles an hour. Same idea if you're not needing to exceed that. No reason to go to the higher power. And then third, to go to full power. This is all controlled by the speed, the gear shift uh, control here on this button. This bike in testing 
was able to run over 80 miles and miles at interstate speeds. We were holding 75 to 80 miles an hour while we were in West Virginia, crossing into Pennsylvania, going north. The speed limit drops to 60, 65 miles an hour, and we were able to hold a steady 70. We drove 80 miles on the interstate like that, and an additional six miles to get off and on the interstate. On a nice Sunday morning with few cars at 55 miles an hour steady, the bike was able to run 140 miles. It takes about four hours to four and a half hours to charge the bike, depending on the policing. If you've it's got a 17 amp charger. That's about the most that anybody's house can stand because most houses do not have more than 20 amp circuit breakers, but there is a switch on the charger. If you have 220 in your house, you can increase the charging rate by putting the charger on a 220 system. For more information on this bike, go to our website at www.zelectricvehicle.com.